Hello my beauties, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, my name's Janelle. And if you're not new, hi, my name's still Janelle. Thank you so much for being here. So first things first, I just want to apologize for the angle of this video. When I filmed this, I was very sick and delirious and obviously didn't look at my filming angle at all. Um, so just bear with me during this video. Um, but I'm super excited to bring to you guys my November reading journal spread. Um, I used to do these videos on my channel a while back um, and I stopped doing them because I wasn't as active in my journal. Um, but I did my October spread and you guys seem to really like it on my Instagram. So I thought I would bring these videos back and uh, today I am doing a kind of fall sweater themed journal um, for the month of November and this was honestly inspired by something that I saw off of Pinterest um, so this title page and quote page are not created by me um, they were inspired by something else but they are drawn by me um, so I just want to go ahead and put that out there that this is not my artwork I've just recreated it um, so for my quote page, I thought it'd be really cute just to say it's sweater weather and then I actually put in parentheses maybe because where I live it doesn't always get that cold. So, you know, just had to add in some humor. Um, and then for the actual title page, um, I really liked the look of November written on the scarf and then just the fall items around the page. I really liked that kind of feel for my journal this month. So that's what I decided to do and I drew pumpkins and sweaters and hats and rakes and all kinds of fall fun things. And then I'm also sticking to a very warm tone color scheme for this. So using a lot of warm browns, warm oranges and warm reds is really what I stuck to. Um, during this and then I even did a few moments of like a warm golden yellow because I felt like those colors just screamed November fall for me Also all of the products that I'm going to be using in this video will be linked in the description box down below um, So if you're interested in any of that, it will all be down below, but just so you know um, I pretty much just use my micron pen to trace everything in here and I use the 05 size it's like the perfect size I feel like and then I'm, for coloring I'm literally using Crayola super tip markers because they are my absolute favorite and I use the 50 pack because I just like to be extra and have a lot of colors So for my day's red page, I really took inspiration from the mood trackers that I was seeing for people's bullet journals. Um, I do not do mood trackers, but I do like to track the days that I read. Um, I like to track um, audio reading and also physically reading, so that's why these pages are duplicates. Um, but I really like the look of like coffees all set up like on these shelves, um, and I thought it would be really fun to just create different 
coffees in tea and tea bags in different forms um, and then color them in throughout the month. So if you don't know what a day's red page, it is essentially um, a calendar. Um, so each cup of coffee will have a number that corresponds to the date of the month. Um, and I like to track which days I'm reading. So if I read on November 1st, then I would color in the coffee cup that corresponds to the first of the month. And then I'm also using my Tombow whatever those pens are called <laughs> to do the actual calligraphy at the top of the page and then I don't know if you can see but on the left in parentheses is my physical page and then on the right in my parentheses is the um, audio and then I do like to try track my books read um, so for this one I like to keep it super simple um, I like to just write in the title of the books that I read and then you know the rating right next to it so I like to keep this page super simple so I just did the calligraphy and then I drew acorns and leaves alternating as like a border for the top and then for my November TBR page I really wanted to incorporate like the fall outdoor feel so I did the calligraphy at the top and then added the little hat at the top which I think is super cute and then I just decided to draw a tree branch um, because I really like for my November TBR to write um, the title of all of the books and then somehow connect it to the top of the page once I've read the book so for this one you don't see it in this video but I actually use different leaves as like a bullet point and I will write um, the title of the books that I'm planning on reading that month just randomized all over the page and then once I read the book I will kind of create like a dotted swirly line kind of like from our title page to connect it to the top of the tree this just helps me know what books I've read and which which books I have not and then for my favorite book page I also like to keep this very simple so I just did the calligraphy I did a few little items at the top and like the stocking and the mug and then drew a little bit of a scarf at the bottom just for some added color and that whenever I figure out what my favorite book of the month is I will just write it and talk about it um but yes this is my November bullet journal reading journal spread um I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see you in the next one